Meditation is one of the greatest arts of life. Perhaps the greatest art. Because in the understanding of meditation there is love. And love is not the product of systems, of habits, of following a method. Love can perhaps come into being when there is complete silence. And mind can only be silent when it understands the nature of its own movement as thought and feeling. To understand that thought and feeling, there must be no condemnation in observing that thought and feeling. So meditation can take place when you are sitting in a bus, or walking in the woods full of light and shadows, or listening to the singing of birds, looking at the face of your wife or husband. Meditation isn't something apart. It's the understanding of the totality of life in which every form of fragmentation of life has ceased. So that is to contemplate life, not from your particular idiosyncrasy, tendency or inclination, but to contemplate the whole movement of life. And you cannot contemplate or meditate if there is no silence. When one has totally denied the psychological world which man has created for himself and the psychological structure of society of which we are, the greed, the envy, the violence, the jealousies, the hatreds, then when you totally deny, you have peace and silence. It's only such a mind that can see what is the immeasurable. Such a mind is a light to itself.